Oh, this is such a weird situation. Yeah, it's giving you know? me also the same, like, oof, I actually don't want to be here. <laughs> Can you continue without me? <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the Rainbow Reels with Panos. I'm Matt. It's been a while, but we're back. I'm almost recovered. Almost recovered, but we didn't want to keep you waiting. Exactly. So we are reacting to episode six. Fellow travelers. Yes. We saw Timmy and Hawkins having a serious conversation uh, in last, I want to say last week's episode, in the last episode. <laughs> uh, they're up on this rooftop tower situation mm -hmm. and Timmy signed up. He's joining the military yes. and they are both agreeing that he needs to be away from Hawkins to get over Hawkins mm -hmm. and Hawkins agrees. Fast forward in the future, in the 80s, they're both in the hospital after Timmy had a seizure, which was also very emotional. It was a very emotional episode as a whole. Yes, yes. We were somewhat destroyed. Yes. And you guys told us already that it's going to become a lot worse and a lot more explosive. So, large divert in. Let's go. Let's go. No. Were they wearing tie dye in the 80s or is this the 70s? Say again. Were they wearing tie dye in the 80s or is it the 70s? I think this is the 80s, no? Tie dye in the 80s? Close. You're still here, that surprises me. That makes two of us. You know who's not surprised? Lucy. <laughs> he's like, of course he's there. My prison tattoo. Prison tattoo? Did you forget that I'm a convicted felon? Tell oh. us more. When was that? Oh. 1986. Oh, 68. Go quickly. I'm sorry, but you can't leave. He's Stay a priest? Back. Thank you. What's happening? Sorry. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is like flower power, hippie era. Do this in the name of life. We do this so that men will not be made to kill. We offer this prayer in the name of peace, God, and decency. What did they steal? Something important, I guess. Ooh, fringe. Timmy, run! Get down! Come here! I got one of them! Let's go, we gotta go. I got one of them. Okay, well done. Oh, you got one of them in that prison right away. Oh no, they left me. And this is Hawkins? Yes. Let her go. Jackson. But Dad. <laughs> it's my favorite good topic. The FBI is involved now. He needs to get out of Baltimore. Tim was curious how you knew he was in trouble. Have you been keeping tabs on him all these years? Yes, most definitely. Oh, well, that's not a good picture. <laughs> I was thinking of lamb for dinner. I just spoke with the caretaker. There's no water at the country house. The pump's broken. We're supposed to go up this weekend. We're throwing them a party. Did you forget? Yes. I'll call you from the house. Let you know if it's safe to come up. He knows he's lying. I feel she knows he's lying. I feel like we've jumped so far ahead. I'm like, okay, yeah, it's like can we have years, episode five point five? Yeah, but it was. Give us a little backstory. Uh -huh. Yep. Wow. Damn. Playing with fire. I love how uh, Hawkins said to him, you need to get over me, but then he's the one that can't get over him, you know? Yeah. And checking over all this time, you know, checking you know, what he's doing. Yes. And and it's been nice seeing you too. Hmm. Old times. Does she know? Maybe you'll let me take you to dinner sometime. How oh, is he like pretending to be strange or what? <clears throat> yeah, no, I don't think he's together with um, Frankie anymore. Frankie at this point. Well, they kind of broke up. But then Frankie's on this tour, and he said, "When yeah, I come yeah. back, 
I want to buy a house and I want to want to have someone there, no? The uh, main house is a quarter mile through the woods. This is Daddy's hunting cabin. This is so weird. No, it's just me. So no vow of celibacy then? Not yet, but I practice it. <laughs> or try to. <laughs> just the old man batch and salary. You know what that is? Fiber. Someone's gonna be bottoming. <laughs> what about the vow you took? I honor it. By lowering my zipper only occasionally and only with strangers. It sounds so empty. It sure is filling for others. Mm. You can't go to jail for something like this. I don't regret what we've done. It's an evil war. It's also interesting to see the difference, no? Skippy doesn't care. He will go to prison for the right thing. He would never let that happen. Mm. He's like, even if he has the dirtiest dirt on his hands, he will make sure to get out of it. Yeah, of course. Daddy, we're here. What a nice surprise. Oh, oh, oh. Well, How did some company. <gasps> sure did, huh? Wondered where you were? cabin just got the main line turned back on this morning mm, good timing on our part then perfect oh no dinner in about an hour she is live babes enough with the lies yeah how many she knows oh, you, buddy. oh no make sure you get cleaned up for dinner that wasn't a real talk like, go check on him properly. You See, know? that problem with Hawkins, he's a daddy, he's not a dad. I'm surprised that he finally agreed to give up his apartment. He seemed quite attached to it. But he agreed. You don't need the extra expense. Oh? Lucy. Oh, no. Take comfort in the fact that you're the one he loves and comes home to. I have no idea what you mean. You know, not dumb. <sighs> you know, it's it's unfair though. No, it's it's obviously not fair for. I'll be like, him. listen, babe, I'm gonna do the same. Right. But it's also not fair on her, you know, and it's definitely not fair on the kids. You know what they do to someone like him in prison? I do. And it might be for as long as 12 years. Jesus. Ooh. We'll circle back, Jerry. Okay, let me know. Circle back. 12 years for what they did. Yeah. But they, they said no, they, they want to use them as an example. They want to go hard on them. Jerry can arrange it. What he can arrange is not a way out for me. This is what Thingy did, no? Was it episode two or three? Miranda, Matilda, Marika, Maria? His assistant, no? Mm. She sold it Caroline. You remember? Yes. Same situation. Here we go again. Uh oh. This is not. Hawkins. Time. Hawkins is falling for Timmy's spell. <sighs> I keep going back to something Father Lawrence says all the time. It's interesting, though. My love for you and my love for God. One was real and one was a fantasy. He's not bad. I mean, he's not wrong. I feel the same way about my family. Damn. They're my truth now. Lucy brought Kimberly and Jackson up for the weekend. So you need to move out. Oh, this is such a weird situation. Yeah, it's giving me also the same, like, oof, I actually don't want to be here. <laughs> Can you continue without me? <laughs> oh, this is crazy. 
but it's interesting to see how Hawkins is falling back into it and Timmy's the one keeping it together and being mm. like, babe, stop. True. But he needs to fix that hair. I mean... Forgive me, Father, for I have so I have indulged in impure thoughts. Of a sexual nature. Babes, yes. Yes. He's going to be like, tell me everything. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about him. <gasps> he said him. Bloody hell. Am I to understand that you have feelings for another man? Yes, babes. Oh, this yes. is him in the army. But I don't know how love can be a sin. Exactly. Bless us, O Lord, in these. Wow, his expression, that despair, no, mm. incredible. All right, let's eat. Napkins in your lap, kids, and no skimping on the green beans. They're good. I think he probably also Maybe feels. Moment. Susan said the oldest Snyder boy sells drugs. He does not. We're not having fireworks. Hmm. Why do I have to be here? He's gonna pop off. Oops, <laughs> what's going on? Babes. He is being rebellious. He is. <sighs> Leave the table. Go to your room. So he got what he wanted. Fine! What? Bullshit! Talk. Why is he screaming when he also got what he wanted? Let him blow off steam. <gasps> Imagine he goes to the cabin. Maybe. But it was, I feel like, because he was like arguing with his sister before, that the dad, like Hawkins, prefers the daughter. Hmm? Hmm. Yes. Right. Oh. No, Tim. Wait. Why He's gonna see him. The, the so risky. He's gonna see him now. The the boy is probably outside. Oh. oh. Why is the police driving by? Explosive. Oh no. Oh no. He's gonna drive up to the cabin. Maybe, that? maybe Timmy needs to be careful. Baby Jacks will come back. I think so. You think so? Why don't you go up and check? Hey Jacks. Jacks. Oh no. He probably went to the cabin. Yeah. Oh. oh Timmy's no. gonna walk in now, and Jacks is gonna sit there and be like, "Who are you?" Oh my God, help! <gasps> What are you doing in our cabin? Oh my god. This is crazy. I'm, I'm a friend of your father's. Father told me about you and your sister. Miss Kimberly, right? Can you please put the gun down? This is crazy. It's not loaded. In the 1980s, are both kids alive? Hmm? In the 1980s, right? Are both kids alive? I don't know. The writer? Okay, the gun's gone. <laughs> and a smoker. Uh, are you gonna tell my dad about that? No. I just want to get away from here. <sighs> Can I have it back? It's interesting how he's having a much more serious and deeper conversation that Hawkins probably ever had, no? Yeah. Oh, no. This yours? Someone gave it to me. You've really disappointed me, Jackson. What else is new? He's a very bad father. Babe, it's not that hard to have a proper conversation with your son. Yeah, but the thing is, he never wanted. I mean, this, right? but like then it's just like a, try. It's like a forced family. Just getting in at this hour. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, is he going to say something now? Mm -hmm. Dad's got someone staying at his cabin. Did you know that? Oh. Do you not care? Explosive! 
She's like, what? Say that again. He's spilling the tea. Damn. Hmm. Is this Frankie? What? It is. Damn. Did you get my now? I live. I'll be busy. You're tougher than most. About some things. Marker. Take care of yourself. I'm looking at uh, Frankie, and A, he looks fabulous, but also looking at the hair, it takes me to uh, coming to America. You know, that commercial, mm -hmm. the, the family that, that wants to date Miss, Mr. McDowell's daughter and the son. They're part of this hair company, and they yeah. have this spritzy, spritzy, curly stuff. He would be a great model for them. What's it called? Guys, if you know what I mean, please put it down in the comments. We're going to check it afterwards. I have good news. Sickler got in touch with the lawyer for Father Lawrence. Why do you care? Because he loves you. Look, the season's ending, but we don't use this place much in the winter. You can stay here. He just wants him close by. Where would you be? Ah, where would you exactly. be? Exactly. Here. I'll come over whenever you There we go. Stay. He just wants him close by. Babe. This is not the one. If you want me to be. I just want to punch him at this point. We don't have to do what we used to do. What did you used to do? Babe. Lucy's gonna walk up what? and be like, So you're just gonna here? hold hands, kiss a little bit. Oh. Oh. And this. <laughs> don't touch me. No, this is not giving. No, this is desperate. This is so stupid. This is cringe. This is just... I can't. No. I'm here for the titties. But though. also, like, what about Lucy? She could walk in could at any you moment. you imagine? I'm telling you. No. She probably is watching through the window. Just get away from me. <laughs> hey. I would be the same. I would be the same. His entire world is collapsing around him. He's losing it. Ay, ay, ay. Wow. It's a lot for him, huh? Yeah, he hates like being tempted into doing this, you know? <gasps> Sorry, I'm here now. Chairs. It's a conversation we need to have. Let's go. In all these years, I've never intruded on you at the cabin. I've never needed to. But now. As long as I knew that family comes first. Always. We're here. She must also be completely. It must be the ick. She knows, but like she's just lying to herself, yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah. She wants to keep her fantasy alive, you know? She thinks it's him? Yeah, probably. Stop you know? it. Andrew says you let him go. I did. His work has been sloppy lately, and he's never on time. All right, we'll find someone else. Oh, she is, she is nearing the conversation. I can feel it. Hawk. Mm. Is it now? When I was in Europe, I had an affair. All this time, I thought that was why our married life was. Hey, Lucy. I want a family. Well, so do I. Then give me a baby. Oh, so we jump now. Interesting. Oh, okay, her look is completely different. And now we're back in the oh. 60, 68. Yes. Uh oh, Lucy's a ticking time bump. Oh, Jackson. I'm sure it's Jackson. 
What's going on? Jackson. My parents are having a party. And I, I dropped acid. <gasps> where did he get? Where did he get acid from? I have the tab. And when did you? This is crazy to me. How old is he, by the way? I think we're gonna be okay. We uh, we just have to wait it out. Oh, there we go. Come on. Just give him lots of water. Take the gun away, please. Take yeah, that gun away. Oh my God. Oh, Lucy is. Oh no. Oh no. Please, like. Let me have some fun. There she is. She's feeling herself. Wait for it. She's gonna look over now. He's ready to go. He wants her. And she wants to play with fire. Uh oh. Wow, she can just have a dance with him. Like. Oh, perfect opportunity. Where is Lucy? Oh, there she is. Oh. I love it. They're, they're, they're throwing them a party, an anniversary party, and she's like, I'm gonna take my payment now. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, but she knows what Hawk is doing, so she's like, let me try that as well. Let me see how it feels. You're safe. I wish my dad could be as cool as you. Mm. It breaks my heart. <sighs> it breaks my heart. <laughs> and he immediately knows as well. Yeah. <sighs> this is <laughs> but she, of course, doesn't know really what's going on now. Fully. Well, she obviously doesn't know that it's Skippy who's there. Is she gonna say something? Mm. She's just horny. But it's such an interesting dynamic, these these scenes that they're putting together here, no? That was a no. <gasps> She's testing him. Am I that unattractive to you? Mm, no, Lucy. It's not bad. You're beautiful. Mm. That's the problem, isn't it? <gasps> He's like, let's go into fake mode. We need to cover up. Mm. But good on him that he can do it, right? He's like, let me show you. And he came back tonight after taking LSD. <sighs> I don't know why he does the things he does. Hmm. Did you know he was a poet? Talk about he lack of self-awareness. He'll be fine by morning. He never talks about it. You never speak to him. Hmm. Timmy should be charging for this babysitting. I think you should take your son home. Yes. Timmy has matured a lot. Mm. A lot. Yeah, he's not as easily falling for the spell, you know? No. No, he is much more in control. A lot more than Hawkins is. Oh my god. Uh... Hi, my car broke down up the road away. I was wondering if I could I know who you are. She's like, don't lie to me. I have receipts. <laughs> Why did he go there? I don't know. May I use your phone? It's important. <laughs> you might as well. You use my husband, so... I don't know what Hawk has told you, but I want to turn myself in. <sighs> yes, I know what it means. What? 
she knows him. Oh, she found the book. What? So there was no book. What did she find? Oh, mm. no. <gasps> That's his old apartment, no? Yeah. Oh, no. Was this Timmy dropping a letter? Maybe. Thinking Hulk is going to be at home? Maybe. Yes. Yes. Uh. Oh. The bus stop. I'll be there. This is how they meet? You've been staying at Hawk's cabin. Yes. Yes. Years ago, you wrote my husband a letter. Oh my God, she's like, babe, do you have time? <laughs> Let's have a chat. I burned it. <gasps> he never saw it. What was in that letter? What was in that letter? Wow. She read it. Are we gonna find out? She probably read it. Come on now. I went into the army to get away from you. <sighs> Hawk? I still love you. Uh... But I'm hoping to find something else. Maybe a deeper faith someday. Mm, she she so she knew so all she, along yeah bless her are you the only one who matters yes he is how dare you bring that man into our lives <sighs> Look, it doesn't mean anything. Don't insult my intelligence. He's on the run from the law. If you can't give me all your love, give me enough respect to keep whatever this is out of our home. Wow. Very strong. Very true. You know? Mm. If you can't keep it, if you can't give me a love, keep it away from our home. Very fair. Oh, no. Is he going to get involved? No. Oh, but he's getting out of the car, so that is him getting involved, no? So what does this mean? That he was in prison for 12 years? So he's going to, what, come out in the 70s? No, this is 68. Sorry, yes, 80s. Huh? Interesting. He's probably going to get him out. It's Hawk. Which also, to be fair, for Tim is a way to get away from, from Hawk now, going to prison, if you think about it. All right. I don't have a lot of time. Come in. How about a kiss goodbye? Here's a hug. Yeah, because he doesn't want to play the, this game, these games anymore. Listen, it's easier said than done, eh? Nice toss, bud. I hear you're a poet. Did he tell you that too? He did. I'd like to read some of your writing. You let me. I'm not gonna tell your mom about the acid or the other stuff. Just do better, okay? But you should also do better as a dad, right? Of course. I think there's something wrong with me. Is he gay? There's nothing wrong with you. I'm gonna be fine, son. We're all going to be fine.
It is the end. Right. Episode six. six. I feel like I need to go back to episode one to check and see if Jackson is alive. Yeah, because I remember at the beginning we were obviously in the house. Garden party. Yeah. Yeah. But do we see the children? We saw smaller children. Yeah. It's definitely not Which were like for the grandchildren or whatever. Yes. No? He said that, no? I don't remember seeing Jackson. He said they had grandchildren. So I wonder if something happens to him. And looking at this scene now at the end where 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 they're hugging and, and, and you see them, right? And it's a bit further away, I, I think something is gonna happen to him. Especially after Hawkins said, You're gonna be fine. Mm. It is a foreshadowing. Is it a foreshadowing? I don't know. We'll see. What do you think? Yeah, I mean obviously the last last episode was a while ago. Yes. But you know we're moving quickly yeah like we're like right back in you know um it was a bit weird to have this time jump significant yeah because like we spent so much time in the 50s mm-hmm. right and now suddenly it's like 10 years later 68, like yeah. 68 you know mm. but then we jumped briefly back we did also br- jump a brief back to the 50s yeah. um not really anything in the 80s, no, this episode. No. But, um, yeah, so we were being introduced to Timmy doing this... During his time as an activist. Yeah, doing this heist, right? And then running away from the, from the police. Mm-hmm. And... He's about to, like, go to prison for 12 years. It, it seems like it. Which, I don't know, it's it's weird. So we, we're, we're seeing a different dynamic here. We're seeing Hawkins falling back into his spell, into Timmy's spell. Tim can control himself yep. pretty, pretty well, actually. And you see how, and I've said it, you know, Timmy has matured. Hawkins, it feels like he's still that person that is you know very much career focused and now he's not a family man you know he's not a family person the family is just another tool for him it's a cover-up but he plays his little like a job for him it's a job for him yeah very well said it's it's a job for him but then he he says that comment of around oh he's he unzips or he drops his pants occasionally with strangers exactly so um, as you said, like not really. It's the same person. Nothing has changed. Nothing you know? has changed. Same person. No, Timmy is in a different. Like Timmy has matured. Timmy is a different person now, um, and maybe also he realizes it. Right, he's like, I'm back here, but this guy that I love slash loved, mm. still doing the same stuff. Um, completely removed from his family as well. Right, you see the the disconnect that that Hawk has with his son. Yeah, completely son hates him. Hates him, behaves, you know, completely out of line. In fact, the, the, the police warns him, and then the son is the one actually that has been stealing. The son is dropping acid. Yeah. And then Lucy also just, you know, puzzle like puts the puzzle together. But we also find out that Lucy knew all along. Yeah, exactly. So it's almost like she's just in this bubble. She just she right. plays another like she it, just plays, she along plays along for like all this time yeah but actually deep down she knows she knows and it just gets to this point now where she's like okay this is too much this is right? one step too you're far. keeping him well he crossed the he crossed the line yeah but then you can see like because over throughout the episode like it all makes sense that you know back then they showed this um flashback of timmy leaving the letter for hawk right thinking he's gonna read it but lucy found it read it and burned it. it so hawk never read that letter no. so so hawk actually because maybe then timmy never heard back from hawk on this exactly. right he kind of like 
was like close the chapter on him right like this is it um he came back from the war mm. he found god again yeah right and he moved on exactly. as you said like exactly. he moved on um and and hawk didn't you know what's interesting um the fact that hawk didn't get that letter also might allow Tim to understand why Hawk is behaving this way. Mm. You know? Why suddenly, like, why what, like why is Hawk behaving this way? And he, he probably thinks, now he knows, oh, he doesn't know that I still love him. You know? Which is funny. Which is funny. But then that moment where, where also then Lucy's like, okay, let's play this game. And then she makes out with this other guy. Mm. And Hawk, I want to say, kind of knows, right? He sees yeah, it. Yeah, because he saw them coming out at yeah. the same time. And... But also they saw, he's, he, he noticed them when they were dancing, you know, the eye contact. He yeah. turns around and then he sees them. But, but I also, it's also like, he, it feels like he doesn't care about that because he, he also probably thinks, yeah, he doesn't. well, whatever, whatever, right? I'm also doing it so she can do it as well if she wants to. Yeah, yeah. But also, I want to say, uh, I don't know where I heard it or read it, but a cheetah knows a cheetah, right? So I think he 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 spots he spots it. Yeah. But then we obviously have the scene with him. Then she confronts him more or less. She's drunk, and then he pulls the pants on and he's like, "Okay, let's go for it." You know, I'm quite impressed that he can just do it. Obviously, he had to this in, this entire time. Um, funny enough, we don't see the daughter much, right? Yeah. The daughter much. isn't playing really a big role here, but the son much more. Which, again, makes me believe something might happen to him, right? Why, why would we get to know his son so much? Um, but maybe also it was just to show more the dynamic between him the and dad. the son. Oh. Because he had like a similar relationship with his dad. Yeah, true. Right? true. He hated his dad as well. Yeah, true. Interesting. Anyway, fast forward... Lucy finds out he's at the cab uh, at the cabin. She has this thing with with the guy there, and then eventually, Tim is convinced, or he wants to turn himself in. Hawkins works on a way to get him out, mm. but Tim is like, no, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. And again, it's interesting to see how Tim is ready to go to prison for the right thing. He yeah. will not sell you out. Which also, you know, between between the two, Tim is not going to sell you out. Hawkins will throw you under the bus the minute he has to. Yeah. Um, and then at the end, we see him obviously turning himself in and being being driven off, which also makes me believe it. Tim uses it to, to get away from Hawkins because Hawkins is like, oh, you can stay in the cabin and I'm going to be popping in. Exactly. I'm going to be coming over so every now and then. We're back to square one. And they're like, oh, we don't have to do what we used to do. But and then we see no. that one scene where they're like in bed and it was like, oh, catastrophe. Crazy. But that's only the beginning. Before you know it, they're going to be sitting on each other's yeah. you know, faces. Um, can we put that on YouTube? Maybe not. <laughs> um, we also see Marcus and Frankie mm -hmm. reconnecting. Frankie actually turning up at Marcus's place. Marcus is looking after his dad. Frankie looking fabulous. And same dynamic. Frankie has moved on. Frankie has matured. Marcus is still, you know, hiding. Yeah, but it, it's a bit different. Like, it's a bit weird because I feel like it's just because his he needs to look after his dad, mm. right? So he's not really free to do what he wants and, like, be in the relationship that he wants to be in. So it's almost like what is he waiting for his dad to pass pass away you know, and then he's gonna be go free. to frankie and be like hey i'm ready now, now i'm free you know, like now we and can Frank be together like, Babe, it's been it's 15 been years 15 or whatever years. no i see this is the thing there is this scene where they're at the dinner table and 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 um marcus's dad actually says i'm not getting any younger and then marcus says i won't have children i won't yeah. have a you know i won't get married i want i want to be free but maybe you could have said it you know be like that you know what well he almost said it because he was like have you been in love and i was like yes with frankie but then he's like oh that's a that's weird a name. Funny name like 
for for a female. And he could have said like, "Oh, it's not a female." Exactly. But he was like, "Yeah, it is." So he, you know, he was he, he was, was close. so close to saying it, but he can't just get over it. He just can't. And this is what I mean, you know. Frankie and Tim are both so brave and so strong. Hawkins and Marcus are desperate yeah. to keep that facade alive, right? And finally, at the end, actually, we know that Marcus does have somewhat of a happy ending because he ends up with Frankie. Yeah, we see them at the, in the 80s. Yeah, so. but then Hawkins will not have a happy ending. No, no. I want to know now what happens to Tim, right? When he's on his way to prison now. Like, I guess he will go to prison. Maybe but we like will have for, another fast forward. For for how long? Maybe we'll have another fast forward. Right? Is it really going to be 10 years, 12 years, you know? Well, you know what? Maybe they use the first five episodes to set up everything. And they're going to use six, seven, and eight for the climax... And the inevitable destruction, the inevitable catastrophe, right? Yeah, because I mean, there's only two episodes left now. So. Yeah, after this one, yes. Huh. Well, here's the thing. You guys said that six, seven, and eight are very explosive. I have to say, this was not as explosive as episode five. It was, yeah. you know. I agree. I, like, I had a couple of moments where I was like, uh, cringe. Get me out of here. But... We didn't mention it at the beginning, but the fact that also Lucy's dad killed himself yeah. in episode five, like that in itself just sat so heavy. Yeah, I mean, this was like risky because he was like, they were like staying so in the hut and yes. whatever. And then Lucy kind of finds out. Yeah. But yeah, it wasn't really as explosive, explosive as episode five. Yeah. And also, we obviously don't know what's going on here with the others, you know, McCarthy and and uh, Cohen and so on. Yeah. But I mean, this is obviously what this been. This is now what eighteen years later. This was the first episode where we're actually really focusing just on mm -hmm. Hawk and Tim. Tim, I agree. I agree. Good. This is episode six. Yes. Thank you guys for being back. Thank you for being patient. And we will see you for episode seven and eight. If you have not subscribed, please do so. There is more link down below. And see you for the next one. Bye-bye.